Hello everyone, welcome to another video. On this video, I'm going to show you the paginations on Angular. So as you can see, here is a picture. And this picture is coming from the Pixum API, which I credit the another video, how to, it's, a, it's just a basic video. It just tell you the, how we can use the HTTP client to get uh, any API. You, I will put that link in the below. You guys are interested. If you guys are interested, then you can watch that video. And basically it will give us the, uh, the picture uh, from the API. And in this video, I'm, I built this, uh, I'm going to show you to build this pagination. So if I click on the next one, then it goes to the second page. And if I click next, it goes to third. And if I go fourth, fourth and fifth, and it will only goes up to five for this project. And if I click less, then it will go number one. I can go last, I can go first. And it is will work with the API, but I haven't implemented on this one, but I will implement it on this video. So guys, so let's begin. So the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the my this branch and this branch is my exactly like the my previous video which I fetch this all this data from Pixum API. I'm going to make this little bigger uh, more bigger this time. So here is a little bit of recap. So basically uh, this is a service. So uh, this service so in this service is just called the uh, the limit up to uh, eight and it, it will give me the page number here. So basically this will just call this uh, API and this is a free API, anyone can use it. And I'm gonna give here the page number and page number is going to be a number. So I'm just gonna provide here the, the number. All right, so once I provided the number here in the get pixel, then I will have to go in this one and pick some component and here in this component here, uh, here it require the page number. So I will just not page number. Yeah, of course it's a page number. So I'll just give here a one. So it goes to the one page number and every page it will give me the eight. So instead of eight, I will in every page, I want the six of the picture. So I just save this one here. So it's still reloading here. So now it will give me a six picture. This is my first page. That's why it give me a six picture here. Okay. So now let's make that uh, the pagination that I wanted here. Uh, so to, to do that, the first thing I'm gonna go in my live, pick some component here, and I'm gonna grab the pagination from Bootstrap. Pagi, pagination boot strap and here is my pagination from bootstrap because I don't want to write that all the div stuff like that and I'm also using the uh, bootstrap here the CSS on my index.html and I can grab this and this is a pagi, pagination okay here it is Okay, here I'll grab this and I will put this pagination here. So once I have a pagination here, I'll just give a class a little bit here. So it goes to the margin, margin top two. So now it will give me a little margin here. Okay, right. So now uh, I don't want this number here. So instead of this number, I will just provide here the uh, input tag and input type is going to be uh, the number and I want to give the minimum number. I can put it here is a zero and a one and max is going to be a five and pretty much uh, I think that's set on input tag. So now that you will see the little input here and this is going to be a page number and the value the current value the primary value is going to be page number one so if I click next supposed to go next previous of course it goes to previous right and also uh, there is a first and last page which I'm going to create a light tag here so this will give me the uh, last page Sorry, this will give me the first one and this will give me the last one. 
all right so if i pick some okay now it is fine but nothing is working so to work on this one the first thing i'm going to create is to i'm going to generate a directive a directive call pagination and i'm going to put this pagination is under the directives folder so now it will generate me our directive here so once and while it's generating directive field i don't need this href here so i will delete this and i will just save it and which is okay and yep it generated me a directive directives now so i'll go in my directive and this is my directive here it's called app pagination i will grab that app paginations and i will put it here as my directive field and it give me error because it says that it's you can't bind its unknown property uh, and uh, of the input field oh this is not how you bind it this is the way that you bind the directive so once you binding the directive here i know that i will i need to get an input field and my input and input i want is a total page we already know what's going to be total page a five but uh, I, will, I will get from the uh, my directive here and i will also get the first name i know first uh page number you know what uh this is going to be my i'm not going to do input here this is just my the class variable and uh, yep class variable and it's a page number here which is okay so the first thing i'm going to create is to go next uh, go next yep so i'll just create on next function and on next function what you really need to do is uh it need to add one on this page number and the page number is starting from always from one and on this one i will create another function here just to make life a little easier setter this is going to be setter and setter setter page so this is setting my all my page and setter page is basically nothing it just uh, set my page number to the page number which i provided from the parameter right and on this one so i will provide when 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 the user will click the next so what is need to do is it need to set this page first set page and i need to provide the page number here and the page number i'm going to provide is math dot mean and this dot total page comma this dot page number plus one so it will take it will take this two of the variable and it will get the minimum one because the the maximum of total page we need we need is uh whatever number we provided here right it's gonna be five so once we have this the on next should work but to work on this we need to also create as export as and in export as i will create the pagination so once I create this pagination, then I could use this pagination here using this uh, variable here. So once I return variable and here I have a, a pagination variable and I can use that on my click function. So on my click here, when it goes to next, then it need to go to pagination dot on next, right? So it should call this function here. So this will increase my pagination and I will add on this. I will print it out my page number. I'm not sure why I put my page number is capital letter. My first letter, it should be a small one. All right. Okay, looks good. The only thing so now we need to do is we need to provide what is the total page and we will provide the total page here in the directive itself. We know the total page is going to be five. We already told them, but we can also provide uh, the total page here uh, using a directive field here. And this is my total page. And here in total page, I'm gonna give a five. All right, this should be equal. Is equal here so now i'm gonna 
show my console here. Okay close this guys close close and now if I click next then number two is printing next 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 it goes to number five and it doesn't go more than that because we are using the math.min function here on next is done so now we need to do on uh, previous so we need to go to on previous one so when is previous one basically it's the same thing we just need to do minus one and instead of total page is should to do, do one and instead of math ma mean we need to provide a max here so math.max and it will take this two number and it will give me the highest one all right then the highest one we should have is the uh, the one here so now yeah, I can use this previous functions and I can use this previous on here so here I can do a click function and on a click I can use that pagination and on previous function will call so now let's test it I already print my console log there so if I click it click it then it goes to five previous and it goes to number one see it goes to four number one perfect it is working so now we need the first and uh, the last here so to work on first and last is pretty straightforward or we need our two functions which for the first is it goes to first on first go to first and on last whenever you click on last right so it goes to last and if it's first then it goes no need to go to the my base number one and if it's need to go to last then the last is whatever number is provided by the directive so same exact thing it's the same one so I'll just copy this and I will go in my first here and I'll copy put it there but this need to be changes to for on on first pagination on on first and okay so now on the last one here is the same exact thing so I need to click on on last all right so now if I if I see if I go to next of course it's going to increase by number one if I go last and on last is not a function so on last is not a function because I have it here I didn't I didn't save it well that's why it doesn't tell me but if I go last here it goes to five if I go first it goes to directly to one and I can increase from one I can decrease from that one all right so now the next step is we need to change this input as per the Mm, requirement which is provided by here uh, so to change on this input is uh, we need to use the function called render and this is going to be coming from render render 2 and another one we could use is el and this is going to be coming from the uh, element uh, ref so basically in element ref we can grab the the directive that is binding with and that's binding with was an input field uh, and whenever this is setting page is changed then what we can do is by using the render function render to uh, I can set a property and in setting the property I need to provide the element and element el that native element which is the input field and on this one I could get a value and the value now which what is the value when you I need to provide is my page number so when I provide that then it will it's supposed to change this when I click it next so if I click it next I mean still reloading here okay and now when I click it next, number two, three, four, five, it goes up to here, go to previous, it's gonna go last and first. Everything's work fine. And yes, we can add anything here as well. We can add the number, but we can do anything here. So uh, now, well, now the next step is when we click the, the next uh, and previous, then it need to also reload this, uh, the, the the call the APIs and to do that we need to trigger a couple of some a some event from here directive to my input field so it can go my pick some TS here and it will it can set my page on this service all right and to do that we can use uh, the event emitter and to use the event emitter I could create the 
uh, this is going to be on chains event emitter and this is going to be new event emitter right and on change event emitter is basically when setting page is changed then I can emit my change here and the change is going to be basically it just provide me the page number what's the current page number and we need to output my event emitter and on here now I can use this function now on this one I will say on page change so on page change I can go to my here pick some component and I could do Oh, I can print the page number. So E is basically, this is nothing, but this is just a page number. So I'll write page number just to make it clear. So now whenever we click at something, uh, it will trigger, it will go to output. The data will send as an output as an event emitter, and it will grab by this component, which is sitting on top of the uh, directive. So if I click it next, 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 press, press, press. Okay, it's supposed to call this, but it doesn't work. Maybe I didn't save it well. Let me check one more time. Nope, this doesn't even work. Let me check. Every, let me try to save everything. Now it's working, but it's showing me undefined. Now we need to find why this is undefined. Oh, because I think I need to provide the uh, page number here. So whenever it's a rendering here, then show me the. I think I am putting the, my page number here. And I'm sending as an event emitter as an output. And in my here, I will use this and I will grab that. Everything looks good to me here. But uh, let me check one more time. If I click next, undefined. Next, undefined. And the reason behind it is I know what's the reason behind is because I didn't provide any event here right so if i put the event here now it's expecting as a parameter and i can see number two number three number four number five it doesn't go more than that it will just repeat it now i just need to call this apis using on change function here You know what instead of using this I could use this directly and I could provide my page number here and page number is going to be on number and yep this is doesn't have any this function doesn't expecting any uh, parameter so I'll just put it here so here it want the page number and when it's loaded the first time I want number one so now this should work so if I click it to next then it goes to number two this is my second second one if I can check my API here and if I click next it's called me the API and you can you guys can see here the page number is three if I click it next then page number four if I click five it can go go more than that but I can I want to stop at five so that's why it can't go more than five but you can go in previous 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 you guys can also do a lot of the uh, the validations here uh, on this input field and also if it's five more than if it's five then do not call the api to stuff but you guys can add that one that one as well and that's all for this video guys so i hope you guys learned something and thank you very much for watching bye for now